Hey guys, welcome back to another overly enthusiastic, hyper informative watch review from your favorite smallest watch channel, Cyreal or Serial, as some of y'all like to call it, or whatever. So, anyway, um, want to quickly say thank you to uh, my sister for this watch. This was a birthday present. So thank you so much. Um, so let's get straight into the watch review because there's a whole bunch of information and specs on this watch. So I want to try to make this under a, a year long. Uh -huh. Anyway, so let's go to the basic information. Um, brand is Baltany. Apparently they're like a sub brand of Octopus Kraken. Um, or at least that is the brand on AliExpress, they say, I guess, uh, they sell Baltany watches, so I don't know if that's a sister company, but, so anyway, that's the brand. The model is S182027. The movement is a Seiko VD78. It is a quartz. Uh, the style is a dive slash military. The water resistance is 100 meters. The weight is 56 grams. Next segment, which is case dimensions. The width is 36 millimeters. The width with the crown is 39 millimeters. The thickness is 13.1 millimeters. And the lug to lug is 43.3 millimeters. All right, now let's get to the strap info. Lug width is 18 millimeters. Uh, the length is 23 centimeters. The class, it's a buckle. Um, and there's three options from Baltany. Uh, first option is a nylon NATO. Uh, then the second option is a caviar leather. And then the third option is a NATO leather or a leather NATO. Um, and that is actually the strap that they actually upgraded me to. And I'll tell you about that here in a second. Now, what it is on the watch right now is a uh, it's a nylon seatbelt James Bond nato strap i got this off uh, some little store off of aliexpress so it does not come with this watch so just a heads up um, and if you want me to send you a link for this strap i can go find you the link um, it is the no time to die uh, style just letting you know all right so let's get to dial info uh, the display is an analog um, as far as the branding goes, it is a sterile dial. There was no other option. Uh, dial color is gray, black, and tan. The hand color is tan. The marker color is tan. The marker type is uh, Arabic numerals or decimals. Uh, the crystal is a sapphire. The case back is solid. The material is 316L. Stainless steel. The crown is a screw down crown. Uh, the features of this watch, uh, it has a small seconds at the six o'clock, right down there. Okay, uh, now let's get to the last segment, which is gonna be uh, movement. Um, so the brand is Seiko. Uh, the origin is Japan. The type is quartz. Um, the hands, are located at the six o'clock position. The thickness is 3.4 millimeters. The diameter is 23.3 millimeters. And there is hacking, so yes for hacking. So um, that's pretty much all the basic information, the rundown, all the specs on this watch. Um, I do want to, there's several people I wanna give a shout out to. Um, so over there at the Octopus Kraken store on AliExpress, I would like to um, give a big thank you to Joy. Um, I ordered this watch. I did, you know, there was a proposition, you know, um, a review for a watch. Now, um, she couldn't do that. I don't have enough subscribers and that is completely understandable. But what she did do is give me $15 off. So that was very admirable. And then she also, at the last minute before 
she shipped it out. Um, she upgraded me to the best strap out of the three straps that's available. Um, and that is a uh, leather NATO. I originally ordered the nylon NATO, which is their cheapest option. She ended up giving me their best option. Um, I did ask for QC pictures. I did not receive them. She said that she couldn't do QC pictures. Maybe my next order I can do it. I don't know. But anyway, so thank you, Joy. I really do appreciate it. Um, and this was a really good experience for this watch brand. So uh, the reason why I got this watch. So my review from, I don't know, about three weeks ago or so. The Oyster Perpetual Homage, it was a 36 millimeter. And for a while I've been looking for 36 millimeter watches and I just, you just can't find them, especially in automatic and mechanical. Now this had a amazing dial. I love the dial on this. Um, so I, I say, you know what? It's small. I love the simplistic dial and I've been waiting to put this strap, uh, this James Bond strap on a watch that wasn't a uh, Seamaster homage or anything like that. It's completely different. So what this is uh, paying homage to, this watch, is the Longines Tuxedo. Um, and I'll put all the information uh, in the video. I'll show you pictures of the original watch that it is inspired by. Um, now, I know I've always stressed that I don't like sterile dials, and if I do, um, i rather have no uh, logos on it at all or any type of uh, write-in or markings on it. So, you know, this didn't have like quartz on the bottom and then no baltany. It just has nothing, which I'd prefer that. Now, if I had an option of having, let's say the brand baltany, uh, right there, you know, right below the 12, depending on the logo, uh, I'd probably choose that over a sterile dial, but this was my only option. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, hopefully y'all like this watch review, and I'm sure I'm the first to do a review on this watch, at least on YouTube. I feel like there's several watches that I have that uh, nobody has done a review for. So some of them are unpopular or Kind of a, like an unorthodox type of you know um selection of my watches but you know i really do every watch that i've reviewed it's really a watch that i want um some may be kind of hype styles and then some not so you know take take for example this one um i don't see anything on this watch but it's not going to stop me from buying it reviewing it wearing it and just enjoying it and you know the more i wear the watch the more i enjoy it the more i would recommend it to people um but yeah so anyway guys um there's two other people i want to give a quick shout out to to be jason the watch guy he's from the united kingdom that was my amazing impression of a british man <laughs> but jason the watch guy pretty cool guy um he's got a good sized channel uh, go give him a subscribe. Um, he's very open to chat with me, you know, give me some feedback, advice, since he's been doing this a lot longer than me. And then a second shout out, which um, actually took me back by a little, is Watchfinder and Co. Um, I've been communicating with them and chatting with them on Instagram, and surprisingly, uh, he responds back to me and he's you know, very nice and sincere. He'll even watch some of my videos if I send him links and he'll actually take the time out of his day. So that's very awesome of them. Uh, they are my number one inspiration on, you know, the format and the layout of how I do my videos. Now, obviously they're a professional crew. They've got probably a whole team and everything I would think by now. Uh, and I'm a one man show. So, you know, slowly over time, you know, I get more equipment, I get more experience, you know, and I just learn overall. But definitely want to give a shout out to uh, those two channels. So give them a subscribe. Um, I'm going to leave my social media. And um, like always, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, please share this, you know, just I would like to hit 200 subscribers 
before uh, the New Year's. I don't know if I can do that, but hey, it would be a goal. Um, and yeah, and also uh, one other quick thing to kind of change things up on, you know, uh, it being not just watches. I am curious. I'm a, I'm a big dog person. Who knows? I'd may like to do some videos on dogs um, as well as food reviews and cologne reviews. We'll see. Uh, but I'd be curious to see my viewers and my subscribers, what type of dogs they own or they like. Um, I'll tell you this. I'm a Dogo Argentino guy. Um, been loving them since I was a kid. Uh, so, yeah, let's have a conversation, you know. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one.